Have you ever heard of a challenged book that's only a year old? Me neither. Hi, my name is Jody, and I'm a teen librarian with Broward County Libraries. This week, we're spotlighting books that have been challenged or banned in schools and libraries. Stamped, Racism, Anti-Racism, and You by Jason Reynolds and Ibram X. Kendi is one of the newer books that has undergone much scrutiny, and it was only published last year, March of 2020. Common Sense Media Reviews show parents rated Stamped 3 out of 5 and kids rated it 4 out of 5. Stamped was named one of the best books of 2020 by NPR, Parents Magazine, and Time, just to name a few. This book discusses why we feel how we feel, why the poison of racism lingers, while still inspiring hope for an anti-racist future. Four of the top 10 banned and challenged books of 2020 talk about racism and police brutality. All American Boys, also by Jason Reynolds. Something Happened in Our Town, a child's story about racial injustice by Marianne Solano, Marietta Collins, and Anne Hazard. And The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. These titles are quite relevant here in the States. The number of police brutality accusations put a large focus on the subject. As a result, teachers wanting to educate their students caused school districts to receive challenges. Stamped was approved for instruction by various school districts, including Round Rock Independent School District in Texas and Berlin Borough School District in New Jersey, only to later be challenged. Five letters were sent to the Berlin Borough School District Board for in support of keeping Stamped as part of the eighth grade curriculum and one against. In fact, a student of the district wrote, I'm enjoying this class and our classroom discussions. I find that as a student in eighth grade reading the book, it's very important to learn about racism and its history. In Round Rock, a parent challenged Stamped when it was used in a middle school, even though they were able to opt their child in or out of the lesson. The formal challenge stated Stamped was inappropriate instructional material. The case progressed to the Board of Trustees and the teacher created a petition on change.org, which got over 3,600 signatures in support. Both school districts ultimately retained Stamped as part of their approved reading. Unfortunately, the teacher from New Jersey was harassed by parents so badly that they ultimately resigned. In a statement to the American Library Association, Kenny stated, the fact that Stamped is being challenged proved just how necessary and effective it is for young people. Co-author Jason Reynolds states, to censor a book is to damage the framework in which we live. Anytime we eliminate or wall off certain narratives, we're not getting a whole picture of the world in which we live. Visit Broward.org slash library or call your local branch for more information about banned books. And if you enjoyed this video, please support the library with a like and a share.